So close the books. Now, at the at the end of a of an of a period, you could you could close the books here, and this could be a useful thing to do because a common, very common problem with QuickBooks is the idea is the capacity for people to change data, say in a prior year, and what happens then is that your your current data is messed up because you end up with these timing differences that happen. So, for example, uh, if you if you if the year ended in 2022, you finalized your, your financial statements because you did your tax return based on the QuickBooks data, and then you go back into the prior year and delete a bunch of stuff like checks and whatnot that didn't clear. It might, it, it might be right that the checks were wrong and you need to delete them to move forward, but you're messing up the prior year's income statement, which has already closed out. And that means that you're gonna, that, that your retained earnings or whatever wouldn't roll over. So to really fix that, you would have to you would have to do an amended tax return or something if you fix so you don't want to do that what you want to do is have those adjustments happen in the current period so you've got to be very careful deleting stuff in the prior period one way you can stop yourself and someone else from doing that is to say okay we closed out the year i filed the tax return i'm closing out the prior year and you will only be able to change things after you see a warning or enter a password in an attempt to hopefully only allow people that know what they're doing or have thought it through to change anything in the prior period. Okay, so I'm gonna toggle that off as the default for now. Uh, by default, QuickBooks is quite flexible with deleting stuff. 